Alright, hi. Okay, so I had a request to you, um, show how I do my makeup. Because, well, I guess my makeup, I do a lot of different ones. So I'll just do the one that I generally do. Okay, so I use, oops. Neutrogena Skin Clean. Skin Cleaning Oil Free Makeup. With, um, Micro Clear Technology. Um, and I, I don't know, I don't like, like, completely caking on my makeup. So, um, I just do about a quarter size amount in my hand. Let's see. Here it's like not even on my hand, it's just like a mark from touching my hand, I swear. And I mean I get that in really good. And make sure when you put on makeup you like scoot it down your neck. Because otherwise you're gonna have like this really core line because um, despite I mean you can be like the most naturally tan person ever like I mean you could never have gone in tanning bed or done any of that Your makeup could match you perfectly but no matter what your neck and your face are two different colors I always do mine in like swirly motions. I don't know. I, I think it's just, I don't know, that's kind of just what I've always done. And, yeah. Um, but just make sure that you get it in rubbed in nice and good. Get like kind of close to your ear, kind of a little bit behind there sometimes. Um, get up in your hairline, but try to get right in your hair. I do that sometimes when I'm running late. You know, get more space. But never do that when you have a whole lot of makeup still on your hand because um, otherwise you'll look really plasticky. That is never a good thing. So you're just gonna kind of rub that in. Loose powder on uh, my cover girl. And on the bottom it says professional. And then I wear the lightest shade because I'm like that. Um, it comes with like this little poof thing. But I usually don't use that. I usually um kinda take this and I can just kinda tap it in there. There's a pretty good amount. Yeah, I use a lot of powder. I guess. Something. I don't know. I should put like that much in. And just kind of get it all over. But I kind of focus on my cheeks and like in my T zone. Because um, that's where your makeup's going to run up first. And I have a lot of acne. Um, I don't know if you can tell before I put on makeup. It's pretty intense. Um, and I mean, it's clearing up. But, or if you see any of my other videos. blonde eyebrows like I don't know if you can even and you can kind of see them I guess but um yeah it's makeup in them that's how light they are I can't even tell where they are half the time but um I'll just take this um it's Maybelline expert wear in light brown and I just kind of gently go over my eyebrows like that in the areas where I'm lighter. And, um, I, mean, I don't know very many people who have naturally bleach blonde eyebrows, but if you do, um, 
didn't sell it anyway. Because I really, I hate this so much. There we go. And they look really dark on the camera. <laughs> but they're actually not that dark. Okay, um. Eye color. I like iPod, not like your eye. Um. And it has like this little blending tip on the end too. And I use that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do it in here. I'm just gonna go on the eye. Pretty good. There's like a nice, nice good eye one. And um, I usually do the top line too. And I extend mine just a little bit past so the two corners meet. Because otherwise, when I blend, it looks really weird. Also because I have blonde eyelashes also. Um, and so it's not gonna be covered otherwise. Um, there we go, see? It was like in the corner, kinda got a clear patchy look going on. Okay, I'm gonna take the blending tip. I'm just gonna, oops, okay, I'm just gonna blend this up. It's like that. And I usually just kind of blend the bottom line a little bit. Just so that it's not which will align as like a shadow. Okay, and then, oh, the final touch. Um, I use the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. Um, I like it. Um, if anyone else knows of a mascara that gives you really good eyelashes, please leave it in the comments below. Because I'm constantly on a search for um, big eyelashes. Okay, and I do one coat on each top. Oh, and I get, I make sure that I get like, right in the corners. It's like nice in the corners. Okay, and then so I do one on each eye, and then I go up and I do the top again of each one. And then do the bottom. When you do the bottom, always hold it kind of diagonal to your eyelashes. It should almost be, it should almost be perpendicular. And then you can kind of go over and do some touching up, but... Um. And I make really weird faces when I do it, because I'm realizing this is watching. Um. But you can... I mean, you can add as many coats as you want. After a while, it starts to get kind of chunky. I should do th two or three. I'll occasionally do four. But after that, it gets a little bit excessive. 
this is the end. Oops, I got a little dot. Um, this is waterproof mascara, and that's another something else I'll say. Um, if you get if you get mascara, like, or if you have makeup, you know, like down here, or like if you had some like right here, and you like you didn't want makeup on that day but like your mascara ran or at night you're trying to take off your makeup and it just does not want to come off so you have these huge dark circles around your eyes um, use lotion like you probably don't want to use something that's scented or if you do make sure it's kind of natural I use Burt's Bees usually milk and honey or um where'd it go? Or Jergens unscented stuff. Um, yep. So that was my makeup tutorial.